impossible. Yes. I'm going to let you go ahead and give a praise for what you So you can lift your hands. Yeah. If Jesus made it possible, so yeah. you can put it up to the top of the earth. Yeah. If Jesus made it possible, yeah. just for you to open your eyes up today, I'm going to give you an opportunity to give you what's due up today. Yeah. Yeah. out 
of many waters. He would deliver me from my strong enemy. And from them which had hated me, for they were too strong for me. They prevented me in the day of my calamity, but the Lord was my stay. He brought me forth also into a large place. He delivered me because he delighted in me. God's word for God's people. Heavenly Father, we come down, God, just to say thank you. Lord, we thank you now for this day. We thank you for life, love, and strength. Lord, we thank you now for the presence of God to come to your house of worship. Now, Father God, as I stand behind this sacred desk, dip me down in your other wisdom, bring me up with preaching power and might, that I may preach your word that some may cry, and I yield, I yield, what must I do to be saved? Hide me now behind that rugged cross that men don't see me, but the God that lives in me. May the words of my mouth, the meditation of my heart, be acceptable in thy sight. It is in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 He delivered me from my strong enemy, from which them that hated me, for they were too strong for me. They prevented me in my day of calamity, but the Lord was my spirit. He brought me forth into a large place. He delivered me because he delighted in me. I want to talk to you from the subject today. I just can't make it without him. Thank you. Can't make it without him. And I want you to pause for a minute. I really want you to think, where would you be? <laughs> where? Would you be? I want you to roll back down memory lane and you may have God to think about. But you're still here. <laughs> I want you to roll back down memory lane and you did everything under the sun you wanted to do. But God still kept you. And I want you to roll down memory lane when you was at your lowest point. And you was just about to throw in the towel. But he stepped in right on time. Somebody ought to be able to say, I just can't make it. Without the Lord. In this, in, this, in this busy, busy walk of life, we often find ourselves in many, many situations. Sometimes situations arise that we didn't even we didn't even think that would arise against us. I understand that in order to be able to grow up in this world, you're going to have to deal with the trials and tribulations and the troubles of this world. Amen. But I understand that even though I have to deal with the trials and tribulations of this world, that I'm not of this All world. Right. Amen. Can I get a witness? Amen. And because I'm not of the world, even though they come, I won't let them bother and stress me the way that I know they would. Can I get a witness again? I'm trying to help strengthen somebody here today. Let you understand that even though the trials and trepidations of this world may come, and they are going to come, but you are not of this world. And the one of you of has already defeated this world. So you got victory in my hand. Talk to me again. Somebody need to understand that regardless of your situation and your circumstances, you already got the victory. Can't be a witness again. I know it may look good and I know it may look bad, but you already got the victory. But it's the amount of your faith. <laughs> That's where the difference lies. Can't be a witness again. See, 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 I understand that, that the trials and tribulations of this world do some things to us. Because we are born into this world. And we learn how to live our earthly life. Keep 
word, we learn how to live a earthly life. They teach you the, they say you teach you how to survive down here on this earth. They, they back in the days when they with the, with the season saints, they taught them how to farm and how to do all these things so they can live an earthly life. Yes. And we were coming up and they teach us things on how to obtain jobs so we can be able to provide and do all these things for an earthly life. But along the way or down the road, somebody got to teach you something that'll help you get through this earthly life. And trials and tribulations come. Can I get a witness in here? And somebody got to, how the old folks say, learn you about somebody. That I stand with you when everyone else has walked away. Can I get a witness here? Yeah. You see, when you learn about this person and you begin to come in contact with him and you begin to get into a relationship with him, and when trials and tribulations come, you'll be able to stand and say, Lord, I know you're with me and I know you're getting me through it. And that let me know and understand that ain't nothing I can't fix in this world without the Lord. Can I get a witness again? And that let me lead me to understand that even though I might be going through, and even though I might see some things, I might hear some things, some things might happen that are outside of my control, I got the clear understanding that I just couldn't make it without the Lord. Can I get a witness again? See, a lot of people think things, take small things for granted. They think the alarm clock wake them up in the morning. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, don't talk to me. Yeah. You got some people that got all their clothes ironed out for every day next week, yeah. but the next minute ain't even promised to them. Yeah. Yeah, don't talk to me. Yeah. He just said to him, we're just talking this morning about a funeral he went to on yesterday. He said the young man was well known and everything, and nothing wasn't wrong, just went through the stop sign. They don't know who was in the room, but that accident just took him out. Yeah. Just like that. No doubt in my mind that when he left his destination, he did not know he wouldn't get home, not come back. I stopped by to encourage and let you know that you got to be careful what you prepare yourself for. Can I get a witness in here? You prepare it about tomorrow. You need to be concerned with your soul right today. I want you to understand that tomorrow is not promised. So what you do for God today will last. And if you don't know him for the pardon of your sins, today is a good day for you to get to know him. Can I get a witness again? Now, 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 hear this, this scripture. This scripture, David, David. David, a God, a man after God's own heart. Pin this scripture in. David was going through a lot. Can I get a witness in here? Yes. David was going through a point in his life where he felt like everything around him was coming. Was coming at him. And, 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 and the, the, the way he said this verse, he said he drew me out of many waters. Now you don't understand, when you under a body of water, that's heavy. I don't know if many of y'all swim or ever jumped in a pool and can't swim and you, you jumped in the deep end. And when you got submerged by the water, how hard you had to fight to get back on top of the water. Can I get a witness in here? But there was somebody there that you, you didn't even know about that, that was able to reach down. Y'all ain't gonna talk to me. <laughs> David said he, he reached down from above and he drew me out of the walls. I want to talk to that person here that feel like you're drowning in this situation. That feel like the weight of the world is pushing you down and on your shoulders. That you serve a God that'll reach way down and pick you up and pull you out. Go ahead and talk to me. Again. I want you to understand that you just can't make it without the Lord. Can I get a witness in here? Now, 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 even after he done pulled you up and he done bent your life jacket and now he got you on top of the wall. It said you got some strong enemies that are plotting against you. You got some strong enemies that are even too strong.
strong for you. But the Bible said that the Lord delivered you from the strong enemy. I don't want to talk to somebody in here, but the one that talked about you, the one that stabbed you in the back, the one that scandalized your name, the one that you thought was your bestie, when you thought you could confide in him, but they went around and told all of your business. The Lord said, I delivered. They said these same ones prevented me from being calm every day. Can I get a witness in here? My wife got a little saying. She ain't gonna let nobody disturb her peace. Can I get a witness in here? I want to let you know the Bible said that he would keep your mind in perfect peace if you keep it on him. The witness of him. If you keep your mind stayed on Jesus, you'll be having peace that surpasses all understanding. Can I get a witness in heaven? The Bible said that he placed me in a field. Can I get a witness in heaven? Amongst everybody. And he delivered me and he kept me and he watched me. So he let me know. Regardless to whatever that I went through, that I just couldn't make it without the Lord. That I just couldn't make it without the Lord. Is there anybody here? I said, is there anybody in this place that can testify? I thought I was going to lose my mind. I thought I was going to go into town. Lord. And I'm going to close with this little, this little story. I've heard a couple of preachers say there was a young a family and they were in church every Sunday. But this Sunday afternoon when they came home from church the baby girl was about six years old. And when they got home from church it said the baby girl was running all through the house. It said she went up in a room and she tore everything up the closet. And she tore everything up in a room. And she went to her brother. And she said, brother, can you help me find Andy? My brother said, I don't know who Andy is. All right, so she went on downstairs. She was all in the kitchen cupboard. She was all in a patch. And she looked at her mama. She said, Mama, can you help me find Andy? She said, Girl, I ain't got time to be playing with you and your little imaginary friend. So the little girl went back upstairs and she went to her father. She said, Daddy, can you help me find Andy? Daddy said, I don't know who Andy is. And you better not be letting nobody in my house. So when they got downstairs, she kept running all over the place. So they finally got the little girl together and said, who is this Andy that you keep talking about? She said, well, this morning at church, the pastor kept saying, Andy walked with me. Andy talked with me. And the father said, wait a minute.
just can't make it. Just can't make it without it. I don't care what you're going through, whatever you face, know that ain't nothing you can do. God can't help you. Can I get a witness in here? Know that he walks with you. He talks with you. He tells you that you're his own. Trials of this world don't bother us because we're not of this world. Can I get a witness in here? God will always take care of his own. Can I get a witness in here? Can I get a witness in here? How many of you know that it had not been for the Lord? He wouldn't be here on the table. But you know that you couldn't make it without him. Can I get a witness in here? Yeah. Mm-hmm. 